Hello, R2 community, and we hope today finds you well while you stroll across your profile and start to work on building your assets first steps with the newly released resource collection. So there have been a few recent developments since our last video release as people are navigating the new update and learning how to be most effective with the hollow builds and the jewel slotting. The first thing that we saw was a new skin drop. This is R2 in the know, and let's get into it. So once again, while we're all hard at work, monitoring what's going on everywhere else on earth too they did a new skin drop without any warning let's take a look at the windbreaker So to break it down, we only saw four colorways with this release. We got the standard release of the Candy Windbreaker. This was the drop of a thousand pieces with 50 left over for the EcoSim. We saw the Cosmic, which was a super limited release with a release of 550 for the EcoSim, which actually sold out in a little under an hour. These were gone before I even knew there was a release. Typical. We did manage to get one each of the other two. The first one was the Bubblegum, which also had a limited edition release of 550 for the EcoSim. And then the last one was the Regal, with again a 500 drop and 50 for the EcoSim. We also got one of these. So that was a fun drop, but there have been so many things happening in the community and the new gear was just one of the many things that we have to cover. So there are still members of the community who seem to be confused about the new update. And we are patiently waiting on the press release, but in the meantime, we urge people to be safe about decisions they make when it comes to fusing high-end jewels and permanent droid slots. We cannot tell you guys enough, this is an irreversible process. You can only do it once, like losing your virginity. In other news, we've seen a huge reduction in the valuation of droids across the market. On March 31st, we saw the floor hit the mid-90s for common droids, which currently the floor at the time of this video production is under 50 cents. So is there an under-evaluation of droid essence value in the marketplace while users are scrambling to unload cheap so that they can buy resource plots they may have missed acquiring before now that the OU occurrence release has been dropped? That is the magic question. Is there an under-evaluation right now on droids in essence because people are scurrying to get those last-minute resources? It seems like if you're looking to recover some essence you sold off before, it may be a buying opportunity. However, if you're also selling droids to acquire land to secure claims, then you may also be taking unrealized losses on one product to secure another. It truly is all about how you play the game. So while we look at how the values of assets are becoming liquid and moving from one aspect of the ecosystem to another, before a market is even released, it's like getting a sneak peek in what is to become once the official channels are in place. We wanted to introduce the community to a new segment from the channel called the Earth 2 Defenders of the Week. We wanted to throw out a big shout out to personal friends of the channel Jolly Roger and Robin Arg for doing the heavy hitting in the trenches and spreading the word about the so far success of the project against someone who's been smearing the project for years. He who shall not be named. Maybe. And although we do not advocate for violence ever on this channel, a pirate is going to plunder when a pirate wants to plunder. Now some in the community may see this as bad press. 
However, we like to think outside of the box. Although many can never confront their ego and will never admit to being wrong, others may take this as a chance to reassess the project. Say that many from this community like curiosity get the better of them and actually check out the project. What happens when they realize that we're here almost four years later and developing more than ever? How would they react when they realize that Shane's net worth is now so that he could drop the project and live like a king? Instead, he is in the gladiator pits, if you will, fighting to produce the most advanced project ever released when it comes to adaptability and future expansion systems. What happens when these same people yelling scam, scam, scam realize, hmm, maybe my favorite influencer was wrong. Could it be? So again, we say, cheers, gentlemen. We will see you on the open digital seas. And in other news, we have seen the funds being diverted from the droid essence market back into the jewel market. Last month, we were sitting at a floor price of around six cents for common spawns. And now they've increased by 30% to almost nine cents at the time of making this video. So where will the market continue to grow? That is the magic question. Will resources take the lead and see the most market influence? Or will Essence reclaim its crown as king of the assets? It will be an interesting watch for sure as we see how this plays out. We here at Earth 2 in the Know want to hear from you. Do you think it would be better to have an abundance of common resources or limited but sufficient rare or higher tier resources? Now it is also common knowledge that these are just the first round of released resources, so tiers will be much more diverse as time develops. We are looking forward to the future developments as we are finally learning to navigate the new ecosystem release and love what it holds when it comes to future potential. As always, if you found this video useful, we would love for you to join us by clicking the like and sub on the video. We cannot wait to see you in the R2 Metaverse. Oh, and Column? We'll see you there, buddy.